Child sex tourism is a major problem, so let's expose some people that engage in it. If you don't know what child sex tourism is, it's basically rich, older men and women flying to foreign countries to engage in acts with children. Then they fly back to America or whatever country they're based in and they face no legal repercussions. This is a massive problem and nobody talks about it. So let me introduce you to Orville Mater. Orville was a teacher from Canada. So Orville was convicted in 2007 for paying to assault an eight-year-old boy in Thailand. He had also been previously put into jail in Cambodia for assaulting boys aged 11 and 14. So this guy was a serial offender. And even though he was going to these countries, being convicted of these crimes in these countries, when he flew back to Canada, he was facing no repercussions. None at all. He basically got a free pass. So keep in mind his last conviction was in 2007. Fast forward to 2022 though, he's arrested again. As it turns out, the Canadian government has been letting him fly to foreign countries all that he wants. They were not keeping tabs on him even though he's a convicted sex offender with multiple underage victims. And this time he was arrested in the Philippines for paying $15, $15 to assault an 11 year old boy. I have to be careful with how graphic I am here on this TikTok, but you know what assault means. This was a major failure from the Canadian Justice Department. I mean, these are the people that give convicted pedophiles with hundreds of victims only a couple of years in prison. So I'm really genuinely not surprised, but I'm really hoping these charges stick this time. And I mean, this guy is definitely deserving of a life sentence at minimum. Not only has he shown that he will reoffend if he's let out, but he's dangerous. And nobody's talking about this. Nobody wants you to know about this. And it's just disturbing to me to think how many people are probably doing what this guy did and they're just never getting caught. Hopefully with this series of TikToks, I can help raise some awareness about this problem because this is unbelievably disturbing and I've really never seen anybody speaking about this.